This podcast is geared towards mature audiences of 18 years or older. Our podcast is for entertainment purposes only. Any views or opinions represented in this podcast belong solely to questions with queens. This podcast is not associated with, nor does it represent any institution or organization in a professional manner. Any views or opinions are not intended to slander or offend any race, creed, religion, ethnic group, club, organization, company, or individual. Okay, so this is strictly just our opinions, our views, what we think about certain things, and, you know, just from experiences and things like that. So, let me see if I can get on, um, what's going on my computer? Okay. So, hi guys, again, everybody, hey, thanks for tuning in to our first podcast episode, and we are Questions with Queens. Questions with Queens. I am Nay. I'm Aisha. I'm or B. Oh, wait, y'all got to do that again, y'all both said it. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Somebody got something. I'm Brianna or B. How cute. Go ahead, introduce yourself, Ish. And I'm Ish, I'm Aisha. Yes, so um, these are my two best friends, and, you know, we are just going to talk about some things and, you know, ev everyday life things. We are going to get into so many different topics, uh, so, many. so many different topics, but this one is kind of just to start it off, just an icebreaker, and it relates back to our names and who we are and why we chose the name Questions with Queens. So, again... Thank you for tuning in to our first episode, and we're going to go ahead and jump right in since, as we said, we are already behind schedule. So, um, Are you good? Yeah, you yeah I'm fine. I'm sorry. I'm trying to, I wasn't expecting to be. Did she freeze? I think. Yeah, a little bit of technical stuff, but it's yes, cool. technical. We're rocking. Yes, we're going to, we're going to keep going and wait for her to come back in. Okay. Oh, back. Sorry, okay. I'm back. All right, so yeah, I'm back, but I'm where I'm at. We don't have power, so it's like I'm trying to see if I could get on on my computer because my phone is like going in and out. Okay, hold on. All right, let's see. Okay, so we're back. Yeah, we're back. Okay, so we're back. Some of you may also be experiencing there were a few thunderstorms that have gone by that have affected a lot of people's power oh, yeah, tornado watch. and things like that. Yes, tornado watch, thunderstorms, all of those things. So please just bear with our cohorts. Um, but I'm just going to jump right in. And um, matter of fact, Brown, you can start us okay. off. So our topic is what is a queen? So, Brown, what, what do you think a queen is? A queen. Man, that's deep. Like, I personally think the word queen is like a self-love like, um, word to use to describe ourselves. Um, I myself definitely call myself a queen. Um, this is my, my page, Humble Queen B. Um, but yes, I think it's a self-love word. I think it re represents a woman um, who's a phenomenal woman. She's very smart has a great personality, um, who also looks out for other queens and other women, um, to try to em empower them and like lift them up, you know, to try to help them out, that don't look down on each other. Um, I think it's a word that like emulates beauty inside and out. Uh, I think it's definitely important for us to make sure we feel good inside so that it comes out and we help each other out. Um, it's also a high, highly elevated, rating of yourself also um a woman who works hard for herself a woman who strives to be great like tries everything that she um is working towards her dreams going forward in any way um she's never cocky she's also very very confident but not like you know too confident but definitely knows who she is a strong woman um who enjoys life and just gives us this luminous untouchable energy you know by herself and it seems like she's just a light array of light um because i feel like it's often forgot forgotten in our community um of who we are so i use that word to just like uplift myself and others and just be a great woman period 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 period, period. 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 i mean i uh-huh no, that's a text message. No. My cousin's joining. Oh, she's joining. Okay, no, I saw a text message come down. Okay, um, Ish, you wanna kinda go or are you still Um no, I, I um I definitely 
agree with everything Brianna say, said. Um, I think she hit on everything that I was going to say. Um, I just want to add that I think that the title of Queen, I think that that's something like that you work towards. So I think that it's like something that you earn, not saying like from somebody else giving it to you, but just something that you earn within yourself. Like you, like if you look at it from like the sense point of like maybe you was a princess at one point because you building like you going through life you learning them life experiences and then when you feel like you have that like that maturity that growth that like be said you got a business you might be educated you confident then you give yourself that label like I think it's something that you definitely earn within yourself um I also think that a queen is like a leader like you are confident in who you are you can lead the people you're not as you're not scared to stand up for what you believe in um i think yeah mostly like everything that b said like you i think that everything everything that she said because i had that all written down too okay i like that um so for me i'm gonna just throw this out there top three things that i think stand for a queen is perseverance strength and wisdom Ooh, i say that because um i'm not sure if you guys like took a look for a page or writing stuff i'm definitely on a new spiritual journey and a new path and you can only proclaim yourself as a queen like it's not based off of how anyone else sees you it's how you see yourself the standards yeah. you set for yourself not the standard society set not the standards you taught like no one but you so what you want to be that's what you set yourself to be you lay that layout out and, and you achieve those goals you, you manifest that that's one of my new words manifest i mean i know it's a word and i try to manifest a lot of stuff that's a part of my new spiritual journey but yes so you're on here hey mom <laughs> so yes um to me that's what a queen is so while we were trying to come up with this name, we did run into, you know, a couple stops. Some of us, am I say no name? Not all of us. Me. Had second thoughts about using the word queen. So that's kind of what influenced this topic. Oh, so our, our, our name? Yes. Okay. So the word queen, do you think oh, is opinionated. overused? <laughs> I mean, yeah, overused or underrated? So you want me to go first? I think you should. Cause you, I, you, know, you, got cause you sound like you got something to say. Say it. Speak your now, voice. I, I, I honestly feel like the word queen is diluted. Um, I feel like it's very overused. And I think like, like for me, like I'm not really hey, into hey. like, huh? Sorry, you saying hi to the followers. Um. Um, I think it's diluted, and I think that it's very overused because I feel like everybody is out here, like, labeling themselves as a queen, but may not, like, carry themselves in that way, um, or they might not, like, like, I don't know how to explain it, but I just feel like it's just diluted. I just feel like everybody is out here, like, I'm a queen, I'm a king, and I feel like it's just like a way that you carry yourself a way of life like a way of living and not everybody is living and believing you know what i mean like if you're a queen you're gonna carry yourself as such you gonna you are going to you know you carry yourself that way and not a lot of people do that but claim that they are a queen and i just i think it's overused so do you feel like so since we're saying we all basically said it's like a self-love word so if you're labeling yourself as such, so do you feel like, so since we're saying, we all basically said it's like a self-love word. So if you're labeling yourself as such, how can we say the other person does not really feel that way about themselves? Mm -hmm. I say that, I say it from a standpoint of like, not so much as self-love, but more so like, a trend that's what I'm saying like I feel like a lot of people follow a trend and I feel like they run that into the ground so I'm not saying like I'm not I'm definitely not taking away from nobody's character nobody's self-love or anything like that but what I'm saying is if you look at it from a standpoint of let's just say husband and wife when you're looking for a husband or you're looking for a wife you're looking for certain qualities in that person 
You're looking for them I, I to, really. huh? <laughs> you don't have to be married to be so extra. <laughs> you, but you're looking for certain really. qualities Sorry. in a person before you call them your husband or your wife. Like the old saying, "Go why buy them? Why buy the milk? If and why buy the cow? If they can get the milk for free." So if you out here doing all of these things and you you out here doing all of these things to be somebody's wife, right? And that's not your wife. And that's not your husband. And they don't got them them qualities that like loving, caring, providing, all of that stuff. You're not going to look into that person. So I feel like as a queen, if you call yourself a queen, it is certain attributes that you carry. It is certain things that you you know you going to be able to like put out. And I think that not a lot of people do that. I feel like a lot of people be calling themselves queens, but are you walking in that light? Are you are do you act that way? Like. I just feel like it's just over you sometimes, you know? I think it's a trend. Like, it's not more of a way of living. It's just a trend to me. So, for me, I kind of like, I agree, but I, dis I disagree. Because even when, like, me personally, when I relate it to, like, okay, ev everyone does look for certain qualities in a husband and a wife or a partner, yes. friendships, just in relationships in general. But everybody's standards of what they're looking for are not the same. So some people require the bare minimum. Some people require not a lot at all. So maybe to them, the way that they do certain things, they're still, like, to them, that's a queen. So that's why, I like, to me, I just feel like it all has to do with you internally and what you want to be. Because some people want a man to only be with them or to take care of them. Some women want to take care of a man. Some women want their man and for them to have another woman. Like, it's all different. So, you can be a team of, other, of different things. Exactly. So, it's like, it's broad. So, you can't say, well, if you're a queen, this is the straight and narrow. And these are the things that you have to have to be a queen. But then we turn around and say, the queen is you it's within you how you carry yourself what you want for yourself but then it's going off of outside views i personally like how it's used as being that's what i'm saying how it's used not yeah, how it's used. You, yes, that's, that's what i'm saying i'm not saying the way that you you are personally but i'm yeah. just saying like it's overused and it's it's diluted it's like I think it's definitely underrated. It's, it's finding a trend. It might be underrated. It could be underrated and it could be overused. I just feel like it's overused. I feel like when we start calling ourselves the next thing, everybody's going to be the next thing. When we start, like, I just feel like that's what it was. I feel like once one person started calling themselves a queen, a cordon, and now everybody's calling themselves that, I just feel like it's a trend. You know what I mean? Like, it's not taken away from all of those attributes that we said, but I also still believe that. It was, it's not, it's not deep rooted in, like I said, those things that we like just put out. Like, I think that some people are just following the trend. Like, yeah. And I just want to say, guys, we want y'all to comment. We see it. So at some point, or like we might just yell out in reference to one of you guys, or at some point we may go back and look at it and bring it up. But we definitely do want you to comment. So yeah. Oh, thanks, Keep really. Comments. She I said we it. pretty. Oh, thanks, girl. This chocolate skin. You said we pretty. Oh, thank you. Really, thanks. <laughs> okay, so yeah, so I just feel like that's one of those things. Well, just like everything, everyone sees it from a different view, and that's what the reason of this podcast is for, just to make that platform for everyone's view to get across because. Trust me, we are all very strong-minded women, and we don't really agree on a lot. <laughs> so that's what's going to make that, that's what's going to make it interesting. Um, so I didn't, I didn't really get. Well, I agree. I said that. Um, yes, it said a lot. I said, but the meaning and power behind it is underrated because I'm trying. We don't use it enough with each other. Mm -hmm. Our men don't use it enough with us. Mm -mm. Girl on girl, woman on woman, don't use it enough with each other. So I feel like that is underrated. So as I said, like when I think of queen, it's just like an untouchable energy. Like I just mm -hmm. feel like it's just what we think of ourselves, but we can also, I feel like you can't shine without helping someone else shine. 
like don't dim anybody else's light so i feel like if if we were using it more then it wouldn't feel like it's underrated or um, overused or, but yeah like, if we were if we were actually using it in the proper way like you know helping that, that another woman do something or like telling them the good job or oh yeah, yeah like really smile and say we cute like that's that can that can set somebody's day up like that makes them feel really really good about themselves so if you if you're using it already as a self-love word and you're saying oh i'm a queen and then people around you are treating you as such then i feel like it's not overused yes you definitely, you definitely have to embody it but since you touched on our um how our kings don't use it enough let's let, let's give a little play on the men a little bit so so since we're talking about queens, what is the king? What is the king to you? Do you feel the same way about king that you feel about queen? I sure do. Okay. You know. I feel like a king would be all in, all of the things that we named before too, because it's it's just the opposite sex. I feel like a king is a leader. I feel like a king is strong. I feel like a king is like able to stand on his own two feet without anybody else's opinion swaying him from left to right. I feel like it, it will fall under the same thing that we label for queens, but just for the male sex. Yes. For but sure. I also feel like, like, I feel like kings and queens should definitely, like you said, inspire Mm -hmm. um, when women of our own race definitely I feel like they should definitely pay back and give it to the community things like that like I feel like a little pros yes but yes I feel like a queen is def a king mm, a queen <laughs> a king is definitely a strong man somebody who can empower us a leader um, definitely someone who thinks of themselves highly but not cocky but i like a little bit of cockiness so yeah it could be cocky but not overly cocky but definitely confident so that you can lead your family other kings around you oh we lost e she did lose e but we're going to keep going until she turns back in yes you want to look at some of the comments while we wait we can all right can you see any of them we have to see Kim Carter said, Akeem is me. Yes, Akeem. <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> um, Jim Marie said, That's a trend, but a good one. A trend intended to raise our mindset. I like that. Yes, That's exactly I love that. what you were saying. Janae says, I agree, it's a good trend. Aunt Sean, I was thinking the same thing. Uh, Dope Chic, hello. They said they agree with. Let me see what Miss Sean said because everybody's agreeing with Sean. I am younger. So I think it's a trend, said. but I think it's a good one. Yes, it is. It's a great one. Just just live by it. If you want to say it. Uh-uh. Don't uh-uh, Jim Marie. We're not dropping no um names and stuff. <laughs> we like somebody else. Uh-uh. <laughs> Kim, the question was, what is a king? But I guess you got that. Yeah. Beginning, it was what is a queen. That was the first. Oh thing. yes, our topic is what is a queen, and then we touched on kings. So Sean Rich said, "I come from the generation where we refer to each other as bitches in a trend." So I'm all I for written queen down. Trend. Yes, yes. I love so it. True. Oh my gosh, I literally have that written down. And queen is so much more uplifting. I would so much rather be a queen than be someone's bitch. Yes. And we don't always say it in a bad way. Like we call no. each other like our girlfriend bitch like what's up like you use it as a term of endearment it's the way you use it it's a use term it. of endearment so we can, like we can change queen. the narrative yes it's the way you use it it all has to do with the way you use it is mm -hmm. this a request is that what that is is she requesting yes there she is requesting no we're adding her but she was on there okay okay so yes guys sound off oh okay. our co-host is back oh sorry y'all <laughs> King said he's going to do some homework. He's going to make a video and tell us what a king and a queen is. Yes, we would love that because we are going to post um, our podcast. And it's also going to be on our page. Yes, it's also going to be on our page. This live will be on our page. Um, so, yes, feel free to go back to it. Put some comments. We are definitely going to listen to everything you guys say. We want to hear it. We're gonna, we need the inputs. We need everything. We need you guys to keep going. So, yes, look it up. 
Tag us in it. <laughs> Put it on the page. Tell us all about it. I'm cracking up. <laughs> I had my phone sitting on my laptop and it overheated, so it made me it made me log off. It like shut my whole phone down. Mm. Why they hating so, on us? So now I got my phone on a tissue box, making it work. <laughs> okay, so um, all right, so we were talking about our kings. Thank you, Jim Marie. She said we lit, y'all. Thank you. Hey. You are too. Yes, you are queen. Like that, right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so while we're talking about our kings, do you guys think um, the world that we live in, our society, has anything to do with the way our kings view themselves or the way that they are? Um, you think it has diminished diminished them at all? Honestly, I couldn't wait for this part. Okay, girl, girl okay, okay. <laughs> but no, for real, I feel like society plays a huge. I, mean, I said society, yeah, society and social media, social platforms, the news, movies, all of that really plays a role on how we view our black men, and and sometimes we don't even realize that like. We do these things because it's built, it's like deep rooted in our subconscious. Mm -hmm. But when you're constantly watching movies or watching the news, and all you see is our black men being portrayed as thugs, they violent, they're criminals, they're deadbeats, they're ignorant, mm -hmm. the um, they're violent, anything like you, you subconsciously you start to believe that. Like we, yes. like like I know for myself, like I don't do it on purpose but like if i see a group of men or a group of teenagers walk by my car i lock my door second, if second. I see, like if i'm if i'm home like i'm automatically putting on my alarm i'm i'm double checking and making sure my door is locked i'm you know what i mean like it's it's just a lot of stuff that we don't realize that we do and we don't do it purposely but when you're constantly being show images of a certain group of people being violent being negative being like anything you'll start to that's deep rooted in your mind. You don't do these things purposely, but like you start to look at them different. And I try to, I try to like get away from that. Like I try to not think like that until somebody give me that reason, like consciously. But like, mm -hmm. like I said, subconsciously, you don't realize certain, some of the stuff that you do when you get around a group of men. Like when you walk into the stores and you clutching your bag or you making sure your bag zip or you making sure you got your phone next to you real close and you know what i mean like you don't even realize you do that stuff yeah and it's and it's true um i can second a lot of that stuff you said um it may makes us see them completely different in a completely different light and not even just us but i feel like it's in their face so much that they get to a point where they believe it themselves. And don't get me wrong. There is a such thing as, you know, pushing past that and looking past it, but everybody is different. Everybody's brain operates differently. Like, I'm not the person that you give tough love to because in my mind, you hate me, I want to quit. And now, like, you're the worst person in the world and I'm down on myself. Other people have that and it's motivation. So what works for one person does not work for the other. So it's easy for people to be like, oh, you got to buy past what they say. You can't be what they make you out to be. But everybody ain't that person to buy past. It's not that. E it's, it's easier said than done. And then and especially when it's all around you. It, huh? I said especially when that's all around you. Like that negative. Exactly. Exactly. I'm talking about from both point of view. So I'm saying like, yes, I do. Like, I feel that way too. But that's the way that is portrayed to us. And I feel like some of them are the way that they are because that's what they feel that they are. Some of them feel like they don't have a chance. Some of them feel like the system is built against them, which me personally, I feel like it is. It is. Like, so, and and I just feel like it just makes it harder for them to be who they really are, like kings, you know, you know, being the leader for their family and providing and being that protector and, you know, having that motivation to bypass all of that stuff. And don't get me wrong, we got some kings out here doing it all. Doing it all, honey. 
and we got live right now. Yes, and we but we also have some that are struggling too, and that doesn't mean that they're not a king. But some of them still ain't there all the way. They still don't see it within themselves. Yeah. They so princes. they have it, but they just they don't. Princes. Right. They princes. They ain't get there yet. They like Carson. <laughs> They like my guys. Yeah, they like Carson. My other guys, some Mikel. They like them, like my little brother. Uh huh. So, so it's 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 just messed up with with society. So, what do you think? I agree. I'm pretty up. I agree. (laughs) So. Some of our followers are saying that it has a lot to do with our their upbringing. So for me, a mother, a single mother of a prince is what I call him. It's, that's that's my thing because I'm a queen, as I said. So he's a, my prince. So um, being a mother of a prince, I think that it definitely starts with your upbringing. It definitely starts from home, um, but it does not end there. Like you can do X, Y, and Z for your black, brown, Son, it doesn't even have to be son. And your any, son in general. Your son in general, in general. Your king in general. Your prince in general. You can do whatever you want to do for them, but society still you're still gonna put them out into the world. So society has to also see what the queen sees and what the people around them see, the mother sees, and things like that. So that transition by itself is already horrible because we have a system like Janae said, like that's not built for us. So I think that. It helps, like, everything that's going on. It helps with us to start within our community so that we can kind of shift the narrative, like we said with the queen word. If we're using the word, hey, bitch, what's up? Let's say, hey, queen, what's up? Like, and shift the narrative. I think that if we start to do that, then it will help society see our kings as who they truly are um, because they have a lot to deal with, and it's, like, crazy, huh? and I understand I feel like it's all going to start within our community. Like, if you Has if to. you start to treat the men different, it ain't going to happen overnight, and it, the trend ain't going to catch on overnight. But eventually, if we, as a race, start treating each other different and start, like, all right, we're going to make a mistake. That person might have not been there. But if you give that person a chance and you start treating them different, Everybody else around you is going to start treating them different. But if you continue to keep them down and, and keep holding their mistakes against them, the world is going to do the same thing. And I feel like our black men and our black women have enough against them, whereas the we as a race don't need to keep adding on to that. I feel right. like we need to change the narrative all the way around, starting with baby moms, baby dads, wives husbands sisters yeah, brothers so moms and daughters relationships like i feel like all of that as a whole would have to be shifted like you have to we as a race have to start forgiving each other like and treating each other different and treating each other like our lives matter like you matter to me because if you don't matter to me why would we expect the outside else. races for them to matter to them no it's not going to work like that exactly so since we are already jumping right into that, um, what I would like to do at this time is for us to just take a moment of silence for all the lives that have been lost due to social injustice. And you guys in the comments can like sound off and you can write, you can drop a thumbs up, pound up if you're doing it with us. So we're starting. Thank you, guys. So I just definitely wanted to do that because just the whole topic in general, I just feel like it's so relative to what we've been going through over the last week. And this topic just was, like, really important to us. And it's it's a lot going on. And, you know, we're not going to touch too deep into it, but we want to acknowledge what is going on and how it is wrong and how it affects our society and our community and our black women and our black men and our, you know, our children and everyone. And the thing is that we have been going through this since before we were even thought of like ancestors, our ancestors, everyone. And at some point it's just like enough is enough. We want justice 
We want we want to be treated the way everyone else is treated. We if you do something to us, we want you charged the same way. If we run out in the streets and do something crazy, and they run out in the street and do something crazy, don't give them a slap on the wrist and throw us away for twenty five years because we worthless anyway. But to touch on that, we can't just tell like each said. We can't just tell other people that our lives matter. We have to tell ourselves. So that goes back to it starts within the communities. When JoJo down the street goes, goes not, shoot not JoJo, Tom Tom, and the Jojo. police come knock on our door and ask us who shot Tom Tom, the community need to come together and say JoJo. So as much as we want other people to care about us, we got to care about us. You can't expect somebody to treat you a way you don't treat yourself. So we got to start here first. That's my. That's just my opinion. Again, opinions. Yes. That's how I feel. My mother always told me, people see you how you see yourself. People treat you how you treat yourself. So when you carry yourself a certain way, people have no choice but to give that back to you because they'll already see that you're not going to accept anything less. Right. We got to build that. We got to make our community strong. They need to know you, you, you hurt one. We all come from yeah, strong. And unity. we have to stand strong. We have to unify. We gotta get it together. We have to be there. We have to build this future. This 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 we're creating this world for our children, for my daughters, for your son, for each his daughters, for y'all kids. The world we're in right now will be for them and their kids. We gotta get and it I, together. We gotta get it right. Yeah, I feel like um I feel like over the course of everything that was going on past and present, I feel like a lot of us don't realize that we are calling um, these other races privileged. But if you think about it and think about what our ancestors went through, we are privileged as well. We have to have that same outrage that our ancestors had when they were enslaved, when they wanted to get free, when they wanted equality. They fought and they fought hard. They didn't just say, oh, I'm out here because everybody else is out here. I don't really care about the cause. You have to, you can't just be out there following the trend. You really have to be out there working hard for us to get this equality, for us to be out here moving forward. Because when you put it on social media that you just out here for the trend, you don't really care. I don't care. Half the people that I seen on social media was calling this man George Foreman. The <laughs> real man? Like, are you serious? Like we have when you when when they when people are viewing that, we are viewed as a whole. As a whole, we are viewed as a race. So when people see you out here saying George Foreman or you just out here because you're trying to have this come up and stuff like that, we are viewed as a laughing stock. So if you can be out there, be out there for the cause, be out there for to bring about some type of change. Because when our ancestors was out there getting holes down, was out there getting tear gas and all of that stuff, or people, even people today, present, getting tear gas, that's a slap in the face to them. So I feel like stand together, stand in unity, and demand change not only from the the races outside of us, but with, within ourselves as well. Like Janae said, like if y'all can't be out here demanding, you know, for us to be treated equal and we not even treating ourselves like that. We not even we don't a lot of people would saying that I don't care. They ain't got that don't affect me, but really it do. Because mm -hmm. that could be your son. That could be your brother. That could be your your dad. That stuff when when you putting that message out there that they ain't got nothing to do with me. They don't affect me. That's a slap in the face because it do affect you. And so it might not, it might be the smallest little thing that might affect you. It could be you tomorrow. It could be you. So I feel like we gotta, we gotta come together more than just when it benefits ourselves. When it don't have nothing to do with us, go out there. Even if it's not something so like big as police brutality and somebody losing their life because I know for me like when I think of Black Lives Matter I don't just think of it when somebody is taking a life from us I think about that like to preserve the like our lives 
do you have what you need in the community? Or do are they closing our schools down? Are y'all out there when they closing our schools down? Are they are y'all out there when they closing our libraries down? Are y'all going to town hall meetings? Is it enough food in the community? Are you checking on your neighbors? Like that's Black Lives Matter to me. Like that that's what that means. Like it's not just when another race or a cop take our lives. It's about preserving our lives as well. It's about mm -hmm. you know being there for each other while we're living, not just being upset and angry when one of our lives is taken. Be upset when they close our schools down. Be upset when our kids don't have no books in school. Be upset when our kids are in school that are predominantly white and don't have black teachers teaching them. Be upset about a whole bunch of other stuff that affects us other than when one of our lives is taken. I agree. I agree. I agree. Um, I'm going to let V talk, but real quick before um, I forget, I just want to piggyback off this while we're talking about, um, you know, sticking together. I just want to say, me personally, I believe, even though we may not agree with everything that our community is doing right now, or we may not agree we don't think what they're doing is right i don't feel like taking it to social media or the public eye for other people to see is the right way to do it because that just opens that door for them again i feel like it's another way that we're dividing each other because one side of us is doing whatever they think they're doing and then there's another side of us that's online like Y'all are animals. Y'all are out of control. Talking to our own kind like that. And again, even though it's wrong, I just don't see it as the right platform to do it. That's like, if I go out with my friends and something go down, I'm going to be there. But when we get in the house, I'm going to be like, you so stupid. You started it. Like, you wasn't supposed to do that. I'm not going to say that to her in front of the enemy. But when we do that, that just makes a bigger platform. Like, we can't stick together for nothing. So not saying we got to be wrong with them going out there or what they're doing, not saying that they were wrong because everybody has different opinions. I think you're trying to say like, be basically they're doing what everybody else is fight in the same fight the same way, but it's don't just the put way it out there everybody can see because it's just another sign. It, it just shows more division, not our unity. Yeah, I feel like, I feel like um, just the way you word it, like you said, you don't have to call these people animals. You don't have to do right. that type of stuff. But I feel like, um, like, I had to check myself on that. Like, I, I felt like, you know, looting and stealing and all that stuff was wrong. But then, like, when I sat down and I thought about it, I had to tell myself, like, you can't tell somebody that they're wrong for being upset. And it's nothing wrong with, like, it's not, you could be a Malcolm X. Or and you could be, or you could be a Martin, a Martin Luther King. You don't have to, like, you know what I mean? Like, both men got things accomplished, so you mm -hmm. don't have to tell somebody else, like, oh, you going out there and being violent and destroying this and destroying that is wrong because it brought about a change. It got something yeah, it goes done. Right, it goes right back to everybody processing things differently. It goes back, and I had to check myself. Like, you could be a Malcolm X, and or you could be a, a Martin Luther King. It's nothing wrong with being either or. So I feel like you just gotta. Be be careful the way you word it. Like you said, yeah. there's no point to be calling people animals and things like that. I kind of feel like that's an unrealistic type of, um, I guess, goal or something to achieve because I feel like it's a new generation. It's not us and our mindset of what we think is right or wrong or stuff like that. We're in a social media generation. We're in that mode. 45 is on Twitter all day. It's a social media world. So I feel like for us to say, like, don't post things, everybody's going to have an opinion about whatever. You can post something and say, I got a million dollars today. How do you get a million dollars? You stole time. You know, it's always going to be something somebody's going to say. And social media is a platform for that to happen. So I get what you're saying as far as, like, don't put it out there, but I feel like everybody has a phone, everybody has a computer, everybody's online. That's how we communicate nowadays. And we our older people didn't have those things. So maybe it's just like they have we have different we have different beliefs and values and stuff like that for that. But I feel like the people that were like doing it and feeling upset, 
is our younger generation. And I feel like, as you said, like, they're, we're, we're making a world for them. So it's their turn to sound off and how they sound it off. So they're going to get on social media because that's all they know how to do. They don't have they anything to do right they now. Accessible. Their mindset is slightly younger. They are thinking impulsively. They're thinking irrationally. They're trying to make a statement. Some of them is a lack of education. Everybody, I think, has a lack of education as far as this whole thing goes. But mm -hmm. So it, it creates it creates ignorance and then it creates different biased opinions. Like I think somebody should do this, I think somebody should do this, but we have to first educate ourselves, I think, and then go from there. So I just wanna kinda of piggyback. I never said don't go to social media because that is the outlet. But like each yeah, said, she was basically the same filter is like for instance, I follow a lot of people on Facebook a lot of different people and when schools get shot up and things like that and churches blow up I don't see them all up and down my timeline talking crazy about what happened but I know as soon as one of our kind do something a little out of the ordinary we all jumping on that person's neck that's all I'm saying yeah. I didn't say I like it's just, it's more, it's, the even, with our, even with our celebrities we do that right like, exactly even with our celebrities, we do that. If, if one of our celebrities make a mistake, we are oh, quick to shut them down. But and, if and another shine celebrity light. of a certain race, we don't, we don't mute them. They we protect are quick them. to tear our own down quickly because we are, that's pitting our mind. Like, you, you, I could exactly. take everything that you earn. I could take it away. And we don't do that. That's all that I was saying. That's all I was saying. We should try and work on that. Like, I feel like we should try. Like, that's somewhere to start because, again, I don't see other races doing that. Like, when their celebrities go out there and do things they don't have no business doing or committing certain crimes or sexual acts to to people that are unwanted, you hear about it once and you don't hear about it again. You don't know if they were charged, went to jail, if it was true, if they went to trial, nothing. But... Let our let one of our people get accused an accusation. It cannot be true. It could be no proof. It could be nothing. We are going to shame them. We are going to talk about it. We're not going to let it go. A good example is when Kobe Bryant died, and he did an interview, and they bore up. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. I said rest in peace, Kobe. Yeah, and and they bore up the, the the situation when the girl said that he uh tried to rape them, rape her. And I'm like, why take the opportunity? Like, why? Like, why do we have to do that to each other? But I feel like our our, our time was on that. Like, Gail, what you doing? Like, we don't do that to each other. I feel like everybody was sounding off about that. They didn't agree. That was only because he was passed away. If he was still alive, they wouldn't have had that same energy. Because when it happened to him, everybody turned their backs on him. I think it depends on generations. Well, me personally, from being on Facebook, I didn't see the millennials on there saying that stuff. It was our generation and older talking about us like that. So, I'm talking about yeah. Um, yeah. But, yeah. Let's read some of the comments. All right, so we're going to wrap that up. And um, so before we log off and end our first podcast, we're just going to go through some of the questions and just kind of bring light to what you want to give them like a second. If you guys have any questions, anything yeah. you feel like we should talk more about. Yeah. Any questions, anything any, you guys want to say that you didn't say something you want us to mention. To any last comment. Yep. Something you want an answer for just anything. Something you agree with or disagree with. We can read them. All right, so we have Philly Select. Let's go back down. Let's go back up. <clears throat> so when we were talking about kings, Keem said, a king is our mindset. Everybody was on with us, doing our movement of silence. Philly Celeb says, we, we are responsible for how all Black people are perceived. And you are absolutely right, uh, Philly Celeb. I completely agree with you. And then he said, <laughs> F these celebs, they ain't out here in the field. And no, yeah. all of them not, but some of them are. It was a couple of celebrities that was right out there in that field, walking and marching with the rest of us. So we can't do that to all. Um, I, 
I agree to an extent. But some of them we do got to give credit to. They don't forget about where they came from. Yeah. Some of them. Some. We didn't really see any Philly ones, but it's okay. Let them be free. <laughs> All right, guys. So let me scan. I don't know Let's if Isha's coming back in. But you're still with us. Drop a something, a crown. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, boo. Boo. Oh, wait, Thanks, can mama. you read our comments while y'all are talking about the topics next time? Yes, we'll try, but it's really so we definitely want to try and read comments, but it's kind of hard to go through all of the comments as we're going through the topics because we have like a time frame. And then if we get into everybody's comments while we're going through it, it'll kind of throw 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 us off schedule if that kind of makes any sense. So yeah, I don't know if that makes any sense to you guys, but we do have like an outline that we are trying to follow and we want to try to touch on all of our points and everything that we want to shine light on. So we're we definitely, like I said, we want to try to get as many comments in as we can and acknowledge them, but we probably will never be able to hit all of them. Hey, Ish, request us, Ish. Was there anything in particular that we missed that somebody What's wants that? us to shine light on before we go? Since you said you wanted us to read your comment, Janae. Hi, funny twin. That's my other bestie. Hey, girl. Love you. Hey. And my sister on here. Oh, Ish. Boo. Ish. Nope. Ish. Sorry. Oh, that's all you had to do at a time? No. You're turning off the request. Right? Yeah, I, turned, I turned it on. Oh. Ish, um, send us a request. Anything else, Janae? Did you say something specific? No, I asked her. She didn't say anything unless she's typing it. Maybe it was really long, or maybe it wasn't anything. And she was just having a suggestion. Was it just a suggestion, Jay? Try again. Oh, here you go, boo. We got it. Oh wait. Oh wait. Your mom can't. Yeah. No. She probably didn't remember the, the, Yeah, it was probably an accident. Is she on live? All right, Sean, are you on here? I think her thing was just a suggestion. Yeah, that's what she said. It was just a suggestion. Hey, co-host. Hey, I'm back again. Welcome <laughs> yeah. back. So we was just um. So while you were gone, we were just wrapping up um. Because it's about that time for us to get ready to log off, trying to see if anyone had any questions. As I was saying to Janae, yes. Um, thank you for the suggestion. And like I said, we are going to try to read as many comments as we can. But we do have like a specified like it, janae was saying a, each janae was telling us to read the comments yeah, as we go along. she was asking could we read the comments as we go along but i was and i saw it i saw her comment okay yeah so i was just yeah, saying I, um, I just couldn't get back in but I okay saw, I, I was on the live i saw yeah sorry i turned the um i turned the lives off uh live request off so that nobody would knock us off okay. oh okay that's probably give us an hour. okay okay yeah so um Last yeah. chance for any more comments, suggestions, anything you guys want to say? Did you guys like it? Any ideas for um, next week's topics? Drop them. We're going to have a, a chance for you guys to post as well um, to let us know different topics and things you guys might want to talk about. It might be something that we already have. Thank you, um, Janae. Thank we're you, Janae. Thanks, Thanks for the Bill celeb. Celeb. Drop your plug if y'all want. <laughs> now drop a plug. I'm cracking Thanks, Janae. Isha, did you want to finish out what you were saying? Or you want to say anything else? I wasn't saying nothing before I left. No, late night. No, you good? All right, guys. All right, so don't forget to follow up. Oh, wait. Self-love. Being independent. Yes, oh, yeah, we got that on the list. Great job, Queens. Thanks, Thanks Ms. Sean Rich. <laughs> Yo, you shout it out hey mom they in the beginning that's not my mom y'all I don't really know that lady like, that's yeah, my mom. Her. she's a stalker <laughs> so yes alright guys so yes please continue to follow us on our Instagram Facebook and Twitter it's